Swig and Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. And this week we have, I'm quite excited because it's something I have never tried before. And it was in another, um, I think this one's from Home Bargains. Thanks to my lovely wife, she found this one for me. And this one came in at 99 pence. Not quite a pound. Uh, and this one is um, by a, a brewery, it's a Corby Brewery. I've done a little bit of research into Corby Brewery and uh, it seems like they're based up in uh, Carlisle so north of the Lake District but it, on the back I know I don't usually read the back but in this case I have uh, just because I'm just curious more than anything else uh, it says Newry Northern Ireland so it looks like it's brewed in Northern Ireland so I'm not really sure what's going off whether there's two it does say Lakeland uh, Cumberland Beer Breweries so it must be the same place so yeah anyway Nice, nice label on it, and look at that fantastic, fantastic um, cap on there. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's a 500 milliliter bottle, okay. Um, so we go. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go a little bit chavtastic on opening it because I've got no uh, bottle openers. So I have to do it the old-fashioned way. There we go. There we go. So know nothing about this, so it's all completely new to me, which I, which is exciting. Mm, that smells good. It smells nice, that. It smells quite um, biscuity. So it's a nice light golden ale. Um, call itself a pale ale or pale ale. Uh, lots of combination, lots of bubbles, tight bubbles connect uh, all together there. Mmm, yeah, it's lovely. Really nice, fresh smell. Mmm. Slight, there's a, there's, a, there's a slight citrusy note on the end of it, but very, yeah, there's a slight, slight, almost like a maybe like a melony note. There's a bit of grapefruit in there, but yeah, quite a little bit biscuit, a bit bready. Um, smells nice, like a vanilla -y smell coming from it, actually. It's like a vanilla pod sort of smell. Very nice, very pleasant. Yeah, looks good so far. Smells really nice. Okay, here we go. In for it. Mmm. That is lovely. Oh. That is absolutely lovely. That's gorgeous. That is really, really, really nice. Okay, so it's quite fruity. It's really fruity, it's really pleasant. Um, yeah, it's sort of got like a, a bready malty taste. It's very Moorish. It's got that really Moorish quality that watch, makes you want to keep going back. It's got a nice little um, bitter note. It's, so it's quite, it's, a, it's quite a dry finish. Not too dry though, I wouldn't say it's extremely dry. But it does linger on your tongue a little bit afterwards. But it's a fruity flavour as well. I'm trying to pick, think of what fruit it is. <coughs> I think it's orange I'm getting off it actually. I think it's like an orangey flavour. So let's get this up to the uh, halfway mark there. So that's what it's looking like. Really impressed, really, really impressed, Corby. This is a lovely beer. And for 99 pence, this is on bargain, so it wasn't BM, this was on bargains this time. All the same, aren't they? All look like the same shop. Mmm, that's really, really nice. Slight metallic on the carbonation. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to think what the fruit I think it's definitely a grapefruit and like an orange. It's like a like an apricot taste I'm getting from it. It's absolutely, it's really, really nice. I'm not sure what hops have used. I think there's a Fuggles in there, possibly a Goldings, and then there's something else to give it that fruity kick. I'm thinking it could be like maybe a Cascade hop, possibly. Something that's a little bit more... It's quite sweet as well. It's got quite a sweet note to it. It's so drinkable. It's so sessionable, this beer. Um, yeah, it does get a little bit more drier. 
that sort of like waxy sort of taste you get what I get anyway from bittery hops um, reminds me of like maybe some sort of wax waxy taste in my mouth it don't feel waxy but it's that sort of bittery note that I, I associate it with anyway I think everyone has their own associations with different flavours and different tastes um, yeah really 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 good really really nice um, I'm, and, and the great thing is I'm, I'm shocked it's, we've got the full package we've got a nice bottle cap got a, a strong guy with big arms on there um, we've got a, a lovely label um, a brewery that's I've never heard of before it's cheap let's, let's read about it let's see what it says Corby Pale Ale has uh, a pronounced hop character with a clean with clean hop flavours and aromas. It has a nicely rounded multi flavour derived from all b b derived from the I can't read that because it's too pale. It's rubbed off a little bit. I think it says derived from the all malt grist and has subtly spicy hop character. Yeah, it's got a bit of a spicy character going on. So what's the flavour? It might that's what it reminds me, yeah? Yeah, the Belgian beer, like a leffy, it's got a leffy smell to it. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it reminds me of, like a Belgian beer. That's it. That's what That's what it is. Like a Weisser beer. That's it's come to me now. Like a banana -y smell coming from that. It's got like, it's got like, a, it's, it's, it's hoppy. It's got a nice dry bit of finish, it's biscuity. But yeah. It's like a vice, that's what it is, yeah. God, it's just come to me now. Sometimes it's really, you don't, you're trying to locate where these flavours are coming from, what you remember, what, what you're associating with. And it's just come to me now, yeah, it's like a continental sort of smell, like that hot, that, that banana skinny smell you get. No, it, I don't think it's, I said apricot earlier, it's not apricot, it's got a bit of grapefruit in there, and it's a bit orange, it's definitely orangey, getting orange peel in there. Yeah, oh, it's really nice. Mm. It's so easy to drink. And it's 4.5%. I would say 4.5% is just on the top end of the session beer spectrum. You know, so I, I think 5% is probably a bit too much if you're going to be sessioning all day. So 4.5 is just, just perfect. Um, perfect session beer. You could drink this all day. It's absolutely lovely. You need to go to be. You need to go to one bargains, buy that. Well done, Corby. That is just uh, an all-out nine out of ten. Absolutely fantastic. Um, please subscribe. We're on YouTube. Add any comments um, if you agree with me or disagree. Um, we're on Facebook. Facebook's great because you can use Facebook to. Excuse me. A lot of my friends are using it to upload beers that they've found that are cheap and that they've asked me requested to review. So if you see anything cheap, you want to put it on my Facebook page. Brilliant. We're on Twitter. Okay, till next time. I'll be busy.